Welcome back. The countdown is officially on for this year's Dick Sporting Goods Pittsburgh Marathon. Tomorrow is declared Runner of Steel Day in the city of Pittsburgh. Friday, the Health and Fitness Expo opens at the David L. Lawrence Convention Center. Saturday, it's a busy day. The 5K, the Kids Marathon, the Toddler Trot, and the Pet Walk will hit the streets, all leading up to the full half and relay marathon races on Sunday. Yeah, it's a lot. And in addition to the 40,000 runners taking part, thousands of other volunteers and staff members are working behind the scenes. KDK's Ron Smiley is one of them. <laughs> he, you are the head of the marathon team keeping an eye on the weather, right? Right, yeah. Um, just uh, I'll be keeping an eye on the skies. So if there's anything severe weather rolling in, uh, mm -hmm. I'll be uh, uh, talking to and in communication with the uh, race uh, officials. I'll be right there in the kind of the hub that's going on to make sure that we keep all of the runners safe. Yeah. So interesting when you've talked about this hub before. Right. What happens yeah. behind the scenes <laughs> yeah. on race day? When you go to the hub, you can't talk about can't what talk. happens. Right. <laughs> yes. Yes. But leading up to all of this, you got to do something pretty neat. I, I did. I, I want to know if you guys are going to run a mile, how fast do you think you can run the mile in right now? Oh my it, gosh. It would take me uh, like 13. Well, actually. <laughs> you, you, you have an excuse. Yeah. You, you have an excuse. I have no clue. I have no idea. That's how little I run. I don't can know. Can you imagine doing not just a mile in about seven and a half minutes, but doing that over 26 miles? No. Yeah. Because that's, that's so, yeah. Yeah, really? the, the, yeah, the racer, the runner that I <laughs> talked to, that was as fast as she got to, uh, that, that she's hoping to go for the race. Recently, I got to go uh, running myself when I met up with a local elite runner. We we're just telling you about running in her first Pittsburgh marathon. You know those days when you work all day long and get home and all you want to do is put your feet up and relax? Well, for some of the world's best runners, that's a time where their work just is starting. No, really. I do work all day and then after work I have to get on some tired legs and go out and, and run and put those miles in, but I enjoy it. I enjoy what I do, so it's um, it's just a unique thing that, that, that having that title of elite athlete it's, it's kind of fun and exciting. Five miles. It's fun for Natalie because running something she's almost always done. She started running at the age of seven. That turned into a track scholarship at Penn State. Now that she's graduated, it's something she's always continued to do. Then last year on her fourth half marathon ever, she finished in the top 20. Now she set her sights on the full. So going into it, this is my first marathon ever. I've done halves, but um, just finishing was my first thought in mind. And now as I've gotten into my training and feel more confident about it, I've kind of put some numbers to things and I would like to stick to like a 715 pace. And while this year's Pittsburgh Marathon will be her first marathon ever, she says she's going to refocus her nervous energy on race day. I'm not nervous so much as I am excited. I feel like you got to use the nerves that come race day in, in a positive way. With that attitude, how can you not be pulling for this local woman to do big things in this year's race? I definitely can't wait to run the streets of Pittsburgh. It's kind of an inside out perspective of the city, getting to see everything in that aspect without cars or anything like that. So I'm just kind of excited for that. Wow, good luck to her. Here's what, what She's always- She's excited about 26.2 miles. Here's what yeah. amazes me is that they have to run that much leading up to it. I mean, you, don't you have to do it at least once in training? You have to run the full, whatever whatever it is you're going to do. No, you're going to no, do 13 right. or 26. No, I, I, that's if you want to be um, kind of in the front of the line. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. <laughs> so, yes, if you want to be in the front of the line, and I'm sure that she does, then, yeah, you want to get those early training runs in uh, so that they know it's Leading up, yep. yeah. Mm -hmm. What I love about it is just how inspirational it is because it's kind of yeah. a metaphor for other challenges in your life. And when you look at these runners that decide they're going to do this, and then they go out there and do it. Right. And so her story is wonderful. Yeah, it yeah. certainly is. And, uh, it, you know, you guys kept saying I was keeping up with her. No, she slowed down for way down <laughs> <laughs> so that I could keep up with her. You look good, Ron. All right. Yeah. Well